What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of Catalyst LE. Playing with the red Zerg pieces. He is up currently one to nothing against his opponent. He goes by the name of TLO. And on the opposite side of the map. Currently down 0 to 1 to his opponent. He's playing with the blue Protoss pieces. He is a player who goes by the name of Light. So Light versus TLO, everyone. You guys can check out game number one on the YouTube channel right now. I'm excited to see how Light responds to a, uh, a game number two here being down one game to nothing. Should be interesting to say the least here. Gateway's going to be coming up. Um, into an assimilator for our Protoss player. On the opposite side, it looks like TLO is going hatch gas pool once again, most likely. Um, that's what I'm going to assume. Yes, yeah, so hatch gas into a pool here is what we're going to be seeing out of our Zerg player. So TLO really showed some grit in game number one. I really like some of the, the builds that he was going for, and he didn't really find very many openings, so he just decided to to really uh, um, start doing things maybe a little bit uncharacteristic to his play styles, but it ended up, ended up working out very well for him in the end. Very exciting stuff. Very quick Nexus here for Light. Looks like he's going to go for the very quick Nexus before even, even getting the, the Cybernetics Core. So very interesting um, here to see uh, Light going for that. But it just looks like he's probably going to be playing a relatively macro-focused style. Cybernetics Core is going to be coming up here for the uh, Protoss player. And it looks like, once again, TLO is going to have to prove that he is boss and try to win this best of three series right here and right now. So uh, I wonder if either of these guys are going to get aggressive at, any, uh, at some point here. Looks like we got the Zergling speed upgrade that's going to be coming up here for TLO. He's got a couple of queens that are going to be coming up as well. Stargate is going to be what Light's going for here once again. So his tech of choice is going to be the Stargate, which, you know, for the most part, we're seeing this very standard with when a lot of uh, Protoss players go up against Zerg players. It seems that getting the Stargate really kind of helps maybe push the uh, Zerg player at home and keep them at home because of, of course, the the pickup play using the phoenixes as well as the oracle so something definitely that we can think about here now what is this probe doing out here very interesting decision making here looks like these uh Zerglings are going to move into the natural expansion they're going to get a little bit of some scouting information here to say the least i think that might have been just a misclick on light's part sending that probe along with the adept very interesting. Third base is now coming up for TLO. So he decided to get a very quick third base, which I think is probably a really good decision, seeing as how quick the second base or the natural base of light is up. Usually decision making on that is either you as the Zerg player goes for the third base or you decide to go for a two base all in and just uh, try to end the game right then uh, and uh, right there. I'm wondering if these adepts are going to decide to shade in here. They do. They actually do commit here uh, to this push. And I don't think they're going to be able to do a whole lot. Maybe get a couple of uh, drones for their troubles. But nothing too insane here, at least at this point. So, Spore Crawlers are coming up here for the Zerg player. Uh, looks like the Warp Gate research is coming up. Probably one of the most important... Uh, one of the most important upgrades for a Protoss player. Robotics facility is going to be coming up as well here for the uh, Protoss player. Zerg player is going to be doing a little bit of some scouting information here or get as much scouting information as he possibly can. He wants to know exactly when that third base is possibly going to be going up here. So like I said, pretty standard. Looks like uh, TLO is going to continue to uh, really try to build up uh, and uh, micro up a, a, a massive amount of workers here. Getting the lair currently right now. 
More and more workers are coming up, and he's just going to try to keep his opponent at home. He's going to try to take out as many of these probes as possible. More and more probes are going to be coming here. They're going to get this round on that probe. And then, of course, the adapter is going to try to not get uh, surrounded here either. And it looks like he's probably going to get killed off here as well. So, that did just happen. It looks like... Uh, Looks like the Protoss is going to be held at uh, the, you know, on two bases still. Warp Gate is going to be coming up here. The Proto uh, Probe is now going to be trying to come over here once again to get this third base up and running. More and more of these uh, Zerglings are coming. They're trying to get this round once again on this Adept. I wonder if they're going to be able to get it before the Shade comes. And he is able to get the kill on the Adept here. And it looks like these uh, Zerglings are just trying to really contain the Protoss player. Roach Warren's going to be coming up here, um, and then it looks like the Robotics Bay's coming up, the Twilight Council just finished up, and more and more gateways are coming up here for the Protoss player. Zerglings are just trying to figure out when that, uh, when the third base is going to be coming, uh, trying to go up here, and it looks like just right now, TLO is in a great spot right now. Keeping the Protoss on two bases, and pretty soon he's going to force the Protoss into a, a two base all in here. A couple of Stalkers are being carried into the Warp Prism. Looks like there's going to be plenty of Roaches as well as Zerglings to, to fend off uh, this current push that's coming, uh, or small push at least, uh, that it seems from our... Uh, Protoss player. Looks like he's going to drop down here. I wonder if he's going to warp in a bunch of units. Surprisingly enough, TLO is not really worried about this at all. Does not look like he's worried whatsoever, and I wonder if these, uh, both of these adepts look like they are going to get absolutely shredded before even taking out o only a couple of drones actually went down, at least at that point. Phoenix is trying to chip away at a couple of these overlords, but with the overlord speed, should be able to get away without crucial amounts of damage. Interesting choice here. Colossus is going to be coming out here. I like that decision a lot, actually. With this current composition, the Colossus can do absolute critical amounts of damage. Problem is, is that you're still only on two bases. That is, Light is only on two bases currently. So, should, should, e simply enough, everyone, it looks like the creep spread... Is, uh, is just getting out of hand. The creep spread, spread is all the way over into this third base location, um, and it's just not looking too good right now. A massive warping is coming in here for the Protoss player, and simply uh, put, it looks like, uh, just like that, um, the Protoss player has been shooed away, but the, the Protoss player is coming with an all-in. An all-in is coming here for the Protoss player, and I wonder how the Zerg player is going to react to all this. It looks like here, Light needs to end this game right here and right now. Does not want this game to go any longer. All that we see on the production tab currently is an Immortal as well as some Stalkers. And there's a bunch of Ravagers as well as Roaches and Zerglings are going to try to get this around. Beautiful force fields here for the Protoss player. But I wonder if this is too much Zerg. They are going deeply onto the creek here, creep here. And it looks like all of these Protoss players are, are about to get surrounded. All these units are surrounded at this point. And it looks like TLO is just showing why he is a monster using these Zerg pieces. And just like that, TLO has showed us why he is such a force to be reckoned with with the Zerg pieces. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between TLO and Light. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, And as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.